Black Wall Street. Anybody know about Black Wall Street in the early 20s? I know something about it. All right. What was, give, me, give, me, give me a little idea of what you learned. Uh, it was a town where black people flourished and were very successful. Exclusively, right? Exclusively. Guess what? Yeah. They had churches. They had colleges. They had um, doctors, lawyers. They had airports. They had car, they had car dealership. All this stuff because guess what? They were not tainted by the other nation. Yeah. By themselves, we are the greatest. We are the most productive people on the earth. But guess what? Black Wall Street got destroyed because guess what? They were not governed by this. God's laws. Securities, man. Brother, God's laws, if you're not keeping God's laws, you're insecure. You understand that? Ooh, I'm gonna show it to you. Go I go back to go back to um Hold on, let me just say this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, man. One second, let me finish the scripture first. Let me finish the scripture. Deuteronomy seven and six. The I, book I'm of trying to uplift my brother too, man. All right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Mm -hmm. For thou art in holy people. Unto the Lord thy God. That's why they will not give you loans that can advance your, 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 your lifestyle. They won't put you, they won't bring in the groups that they are the progressing because what? You're 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 great. That's right, like read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. He said he chose us to be special because he created us for himself. You understand that? Unto himself, above all people. Below. Above all people. Above all people. They know that if they put us on the same level as they are, we're going to surpass them. That's why they're insecure, my brother. We are above all nations on the planet. That's we're the right. greatest people on the earth. Right. That's why when we see our young brothers and sisters there, we got to build them up. Because we are insecure. Why? Because we don't know who we are. Right. We fact. see that we walk and hold on our head like we're still on the plantation. You understand that, brother? We are afraid to say what we want to say because we're afraid we're going to offend them because we don't know that we are the greatest people on the earth. You understand that? And because of that, we are in the midst of sin. Um, um, Romans 8 and verse 60. Uh, 20, um, no, Romans 6 and verse 23, right? Yeah. Give me that. Let me show you something. Hey, my brother, how you doing, man? What's your name? As, as we're talking, just look at this sign over here. Over here is what they call us in slavery, right? Over here is what the Bible calls it. This is your biblical nationality. This is what was given to you as a people. You understand? All right, so look at it as we talk. Let me show you something. Sin. Let's see what happened when we celebrate Juneteenth, 4th of July, um, the Thanksgiving, all that man-made holiday. Let's see what happens. The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. You know, For the wages of sin is death. You're committing sin when you're out here, brother. That's why something might end up might pop off tonight. You understand that? Somebody get killed. It has happened so many times in different, different cities. All right, if you keep your eye on the news, you can tell that this is not a lie. This is the truth according to the Bible. God said when the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans get involved in paganism, a man-made holiday, it's a sin, and you can get death for it. You understand that? That's why we cannot be doing these things anymore. Hey, my brother, how you doing, man? What's your name? Justin. Just keeping you up to speed, Justin. We're here showing you your true identity according to the Bible. So when you look at this sign over here, on this side is what you know yourself to be. So where would you fall over here? Falls on Judah. Judah? Okay, good. So you know African Americans today are called Judah. The same tribe that Christ came out of, right? Give me that. 740. Let me show you that that all of you guys, if you say you are from the tribe of Judah or the southern tribe, you basically Judah. You have Christ's blood flowing through your brain. Hey sis, how you doing? So come over here and look at the sign too, sis. Would you would, well, over here is what you know. This is what they, they taught you all your life. Over here is what the Bible calls you. So where would you fall? Look on the right side. Where would you fall, sis? See that? The sister, same tribe. All of you come from the same tribe. The greatest man that ever walked this earth is your big brother. You understand that? You understand that? What's your name, sis? Madison. Madison? Nice to meet you, Madison. I'm Benaya. We're showing you that you're greater than what you think you are, sis. Our nation is greater than what most people look at us as, as being, right? But we're at the bottom of society, right? Right? Okay, listen, read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Christ came out of the same tribe that you came out. Should that make a difference in your thought process today? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. We showed you that you're the greatest people on the planet, brother. Should that make a difference the way you carry yourself now? Yes or no? Of course. 
Oh, okay, so good. That means you're gonna change your ways moving forward, right? Sure. Is that what you're saying too, yeah. my brother? Is that what you're saying that knowing that you know that Christ, the greatest man that ever walked this earth, right? Is is your is your family by blood? You're gonna start. We're gonna show you some stuff that can can make you become what? What they call righteous? Make you become Christ-like. You understand that? That's what we're gonna do today. All right. We are out here to save our people's soul from the evil that's going on. The other nation has nothing to do with us. Think about it. Do they treat us equal? No. You go in their store, they walk behind you like they, they expect you to steal every time you go in there. You are not considered anybody to them because of who you are. The Bible says that, right? Psalms 82. Let's show it. Let me show you. All the nations are against us. Maybe one or two of them might want to help you sometime. But I don't mean nothing, brother. As a whole, the whole nation is against you. You understand that? I come out here and celebrating Juneteenth is a lie. It's evil and it's sin according to the Bible. And Christians, they know that the wages of sin is death, right? Is that is that what it says in the Bible? So if it's sin, why do you think a lot of our people are dying every time we have these holidays? Think about it. The, the, the most freshest memory we can have is Juneteenth. Hundreds of people died in different different celebrations across the country. You understand that? Because we are in sin. We are God's chosen people. We are not supposed to be selling, breaking these holidays. All right? Listen to this. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 2. Mm -hmm. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. See that? The Bible says thine enemy. The Bible is going to show you your enemies because a lot of times when we ask people who are our enemies, they said they don't know. Even though it, it's in their face, the way they treat you, the things that they do do to you, tells you that they're your enemy. All right? Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Guess what crafty counsel is? They have Planned Parenthood in, our, in black folks' neighborhood. Do they have it in white folks' neighborhood? No, no. they have fertility clinics in white people's neighborhood. Right. That's crafty counsel. Right. You have, they give you the worst foods in your supermarkets. You understand that? Worst education. Right. All right? Redlining. They put you in the worst neighborhoods. That's crafty counsel. Putting against the black woman against the black man. The children against the parents. That's all crafty counsel. You understand that? Read. For lo, thy enemies make a tomo. Mm -hmm. If they that hate thee have lifted up the head, mm -hmm. they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. God said the enemies, the other nation, took crafty counsel against his people. Right? Read. It consulted against thy hidden ones. And they consult the hidden ones are us. Because before you walk up here, you did not know that you were from the tribe of Judah, from right. the nation of Israel. That's the right. greatest nation on the planet, man. Right. You didn't know how important you were until you walk up here. We are the hidden ones. We are not called Israelites today. When you think about Israel or the Isra Israelites, who do you think about? What people? Who? Oh? But who? Who? Say Jewish. Jewish. Jewish people. Okay, Jewish people. Who do you think are the Jewish people? Are the people of God? Who? who what? What they look like? They look like you? Yeah, they're brown. No, brother. Oh, there was white right. people over there. The Jewish oh, yeah. people in New York that wear those little things on their head. Those people. They. They're the one that hide us and claim our nationality and their identity. That's why God said we are hidden. We are the hidden ones. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 